have you figured out or learned what kind of team you need to have around you to get to where you, you want to go? Like, you've had a lot of different teammates cycle through here, a lot of different styles of play. Have you come to any kind of conclusions about what kind of group needs to be here to get the, the job done? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> consistency. Um, that's, that's really all I demand. Uh, I think I mentioned in the past, you know, the, you know if, you, if you keep switching guys every one year, you know, two years, <clears throat> I don't think that takes you anywhere. If you look at, you know, some of the teams that have won, you know, most of those guys have been together uh, for a while. So I think, you know, I think for me, it's all about consistency. Um, you know, you can go back through the years, especially when we actually started getting better, the Jimmy year. I mean, we, we had him for half a year, and then, you know, JJ, you know, the next summer, they were gone. Um, and then we had James for one and a half year and then gone. So I think for me, uh, it's not necessarily about, you know, which type of player. I think it's about, you know, just, you know, consistency, you know, having played with the same, same, same guys for a couple of years. Everybody knows, you know, what they have to do, where to be. They understand what it takes, you know, the culture, um, yeah. Hey, Joel. Uh, this summer has been obviously very busy for you. Uh, you've been kind of had a lot of face time, uh, which is something that you're not normally prone to do in the off season. Um, you've also spent a lot more time with your teammates, it appears, kind of off the court bonding. Just why was that so important for you to do this summer? Uh, it was important. I mean, big summer for us, I think. Uh, I don't remember the last time we had an opportunity to go into the summer and, you know, at someone like PG and you know some of the other guys that we that we added so they you know a little bit of recruiting uh you know a little bit of playing which never happened in the past uh so i think you know and just being the one we got a we got a lot of new guys so i think it's also important to just be around and you know make sure you know everybody understands each other and you know, each other's tendencies on and off the court, and uh, yeah, and then just go from there. Joel, we all just got the news about Dikembe Mutombo, and for someone like yourself, you just spent time at the UN talking about growing the game in Africa. Can you articulate a little bit about what he has meant to you as a big man, as someone from the same continent, and, and what it feels like to sort of carry the torch from, from players like him as you move on in your career on and off the floor? Yeah, I mean, uh, I just heard about it, you know, my condol condolences to you know, his family. Um, so it's, it's a sad day, especially for us Africans and really the whole world because, you know, other than what is accomplished on on the basketball court, I think he was even better on the off the court. Uh, you know, those are some of the guys. You know, he's one of the guys that I look up to uh, as far as you know having an impact, not just on the on the you know on court, but off the court. He's done a lot of great things. He did a lot of great things. You know, for a lot of people. Uh, so I mean, that's uh, you know, it was a role model of mine. So uh, yeah, like I said. It is a sad day, uh, and uh, yeah. Joel, can you just speak to, uh, I guess, the excitement that you guys have this season? You know, comparable to years in the past, like media day, you guys were always being asked, well, how come Ben doesn't want to play? Or what's up with Ben? Well, last year, what about, you know, James Harden? Now you guys have PG and, and a new roster, and everybody's talking about championship or contending, <clears throat> possibly contending. Can you just speak to that? Uh, I mean, it is extremely important to go into camp, obviously, without any negativity or outside noise. Obviously, the last few years, uh, we've had a lot of those. Uh, so I think, you know, like I said, it's extremely important. But I think, you know, with the team that we built this year, uh, and it's not just about this year. I see this as a, you know, long-term thing. Uh, you know, obviously, I want to, finish my career here and uh, you know I just uh, 
just just extend it. Uh, I think you know at least you know PG signed a four-year deal. Who knows you know if he still wants to play after? But I think we got a pretty good opportunity to you know be consistent, which is something that I just talked about. Um, you know, and we have a lot of new guys, so you know got to get everybody on the same page. Uh, it's going to take time. There might be uh, growing pains, but I think we got we got guys that that just fit uh, on and off the court, and uh, you know that's that's what you need. You know when it comes to team building and and culture. So you know I'm excited to you know just go out there and you know kind of you know my job I feel like this year is to empower those guys. You know especially Tyrese. I think you know there's another step he can take. And he's going to take it. Uh, I think my job is to just go out there and, you know, just let him be, you know, the guy. Uh, because I know that, you know, at some point, it's when, you know, when it comes down to it, he's going to come in handy. So, you know, same thing with Paul. Uh, you know, just, you know, and, you know, some of the other guys that, you know, that we added. Caleb, you know, Gershon. So and you know, we added a lot of guys. It feels like we have a brand new team. So and, and a follow-up question: Can you just speak to your health? Like you, you need, you also look like you're in pretty good shape. Did you shed some lbs, lose weight, and and, and it's, how's your knee holding up right about now? I'm I right. um, think I lost about 30, 25, 30. So um, you know, I still got I still got ways to go. Uh, still wanna still want to lose more um, but it's a process i think for me and you know, i you know Dale will tell you this you know as soon as we lost last year i just texted him i was like uh we gotta do whatever it takes to make sure that uh in the postseason i'm healthy so this year is all about you know there is no agenda there is no all-star there is no you know all NBA, there's you know, there's none of that. Is whatever it takes to, you know, make sure that you know I get to that point and you know I'm ready to go because I believe you know every single for the past you know basically every single year of my career I've been hurt in the playoffs. So I think you know that's the goal and you know it's all about doing whatever it takes to get there and you know physically you know. I'm, you know, I'm okay. I'm, 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 I, I don't feel, you know, like I'm not where I want to be, and and I know I, you know, that I got their support, and they all, they all want the same thing. So, you know, until, you know, I'm at that point where, you know, they feel like I'm, you know, I'm ready to go. I'm sure they're gonna, they're gonna hold me back. So, I think, like I said, focus is on whatever it takes to, you know get to that stage and be healthy because I believe, you know, with the guys that we have and, you know, with what I can, with what I can bring to the, to the table, I have a pretty good chance. Hey, Joe. Uh, you just kind of mentioned, like, the whole new roster and, and just everything else. I guess just from a basketball standpoint, like, when you look at a guy like Caleb, Reggie, um, and, you know, Gershon, what they can bring to the table, I guess, like, what do you kind of see as you being the leader and the star of this team right now? Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, my job this year and what I really want to focus on is empowering these guys. And, you know, as, like I said, uh, I will do it when I have to. Uh, you know, if it means, you know, I have to score some points at some point, then I'm going to do it. But, you know, most of the time, like, I really want to focus on, you know, just, you know, really let the game come to me. I think in previous years I've had to do it uh, because we didn't have, you know, necessarily the manpower to, you know, just for me to kind of take that step back and, you know, and, you know, and, you know, to put us in a position to win. Uh, but I felt like this year with the guys that we added, um, you know, Paul, you know, that guy over there taking another step, um, you know, Caleb, Gershon, what am I forgetting? Eric, you know, we had a lot of guys. You know, Kyle is back. Uh, man, so I think, you know, for, yeah, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, that's, yeah, that's my job this year. And then, you know, really fit in, 
you know, when, when I'm needed. Joel, your experience in the Olympics this summer, what, what exactly did that teach you about this mentality of being able to, uh, defer is not the right word, but kind of support around Tyrese Maxey and Paul George and enable them to kind of lead the show? Um, I would say it was great, but I don't think it's anything I didn't know before. Uh, you know, I, even before the Olympics, and you know, that was my mindset anyways. Uh, you know, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, like I said in the past, felt like I've had to do it, and then this year, I don't think I'm gonna have to do it, un you know, unless you know I have to do it. So, uh, you know, I really have a lot of confidence in you know these guys uh, to you know figure it out, and for me to just you know use myself as a decoy uh, to allow them to you know just be themselves and be good at, you know, what they do best. So um, I think, yeah, like I said, um, it was it was fun, you know, winning. I finally won something. Uh, I finally got past the, conf uh, conf I finally got to the conference finals and I won something, so that was fun. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a great experience. Um, yeah, so, you know, winning is great. So as long as we win, uh, it doesn't matter what the role is and, you know, what I did, you know, that's, that's what matters. Thanks, Joel. That's it. We all silly like the mayor. 